Chris from the Plane Learning Team at Eureka, and today I've got one of my favourite science demonstrations for you. The energy stick. Now at first glance, it doesn't look like much. It's a clear plastic tube with a few wires inside and a bit of silver foil at each end. But it is remarkable. Because if I hold one end like this, and then touch the other, it turns on. I promise you there's no trickery involved. I'm not flicking some secret switch. There's nothing I'm doing other than touching both ends at the same time. So how does it work? Well, as it stands right now, the energy stick is an incomplete circuit. And for electricity to flow, for it to be able to turn on the lights and the sound, it needs to complete that circuit. And usually when we think about completing a circuit, we do it with things like wires, metal that can conduct electricity. Now I don't have any wires, but I do have some things from my kitchen drawer. So if I make myself a little circuit here for the energy stick to rest on, what happens is it turns on. We've completed the circuit, the electricity can flow and it works. But why then does it work when I touch it with my hands? Well, the human body conducts electricity. Not much, admittedly, but enough for this to work. And that's because the inside of our bodies are mostly made up of water, and slightly salty water at that. Salty water conducts electricity. Therefore, our bodies conduct electricity. And it is incredibly useful, not just for little things like this. Pretty much every single touchscreen device, phones, tablets in your house will use a touchscreen that, that uses the conduction of our bodies to work. It's why if you put gloves on, unless you've got very special kinds of gloves, those touchscreens won't work because the gloves don't conduct electricity. So there you go. There's just a little science demonstration showing about conduction and the human body.